So fun. Fun. <laughs> technical fun, I usually Tec- say. Have technical fun. I think that the life as an engineer is really satisfying. Mm-hmm. I think you get to, uh, you know, to some degree, it, it can be like crafts work where you get to do things with your own hands or your own design or whatever your, you know, your media is. And it's very satisfying to be able to just do the work. Unlike, you know, a lot of people who have to do something that they don't like doing, I think engineers typically get to do something that they, that they like. And there's a lot of satisfaction from that. Mm-hmm. Then there's, um, you know, in many cases, you can have impact uh, on the world somehow because you've done something that other people admire, which is de- different from the own, just the craft fun of, of building a thing. Uh, so that's the second way that, uh, that being an engineer is good. I think the third thing is that the, if you're lucky to be working in a team where you're uh, getting the benefit of other people's skills that are helping you do your thing, uh, you know, none of us has all the skills needed to do um, most of these projects. And uh, if you have a team where you're working well with the others, that can be very satisfying. And then if you're an engineer, you also usually get paid. And so you, you kind <laughs> yeah. of get paid four times yeah. <laughs> uh, in my view of the world. Yeah. So what could be better than that? Get paid to have fun. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, what what do you love about engineering? What When you say engineering, what, is that, what does that mean to you exactly? What is this kind of big thing that we call engineering? <laughs> I think it's both being a scientist or getting to use science at the same time as being kind of an artist or a creator, because you're making some, you know, scientists only get to describe, to, to study what's out there, and engineers get, get to make stuff that didn't exist before. Mm-hmm. And so it's really, I think, a higher calling, even though I think most, you know, the public out there thinks science is top and engineering is somehow secondary, but I think it's the other way around. And at the cutting edge, I think when you, when you talk about robotics, there is possibility to do art in that you do like the first of its kind thing so then there's a ma- production at scale which is its own beautiful thing but when you do the first new robot or the first new thing that's the possibility to create something totally new that I mean, is br- art. bringing metal to life or a machine to life is kind of is fun and uh you know it was fun doing the dan- the dancing videos where uh Got a huge, you know, public response, and we're going to do more. We're going to do some. We're doing some at the institute, and we'll we'll do more. Well, that metal to life moment. I mean, to me, that's still magical. Like uh, when when uh, inanimate objects comes to life, that's still like to me. It's cool. to this day is still an incredible moment. The human intelligence can create systems that instill life or whatever that is. In, into inanimate objects, it's, it's it's really it's truly magical, especially when it's at the scale of mm. that humans can perceive mm. and appreciate mm. like directly. But I think sort of with it going going back to the pieces of that, you know, you design a linkage that turns out to be half the weight and just as strong. Mm-hmm. That's that's very that's satisfying, and yeah. you know, there are people who do that, and mm-hmm. it's it's a creative a creative act. 